Since the earliest days of humankind, there have been myths and tales of gods finding ways to become immortal. There's Gilgamesh, the titular king in an epic that dates back to 2000 BC, sort of longevity-granting plant. The Greek legend of Thetanus, who asked Zeus for eternal life but forgot eternal youth. Ponce de Leon, who ventured to new lands in search of the fountain of youth. Fast forward, especially in the last hundred years, with the advent of healthcare, less wars, the increase in wealth, and overall a much higher educated world population, the lifetime of humans doubled, on average, from below 40 years to up to 80 and higher. More recently, with global internet and technology businesses gaining momentum, especially billionaires from Silicon Valley focused their attention to immortality led by a few companies, especially Calico backed by Alphabet, which was launched in 2013. Calico Labs' stated mission is tackling aging. The company's founder and CEO, Arthur Levinson, is also the chairman of Apple. Calico Labs had an undisclosed investment from Google and the progress has not been made public. Arthur Levinson wrote, We will explore the basic biology of aging and develop new medicines for patients with aging-related diseases in a 2014 post. Human Longevity Inc., co-founded by leading geneticist Craig Venter, also hired serious scientists and have strong bonds with major pharmaceutical companies. The company raised $220 million. The goal of human longevity is to build the world's most comprehensive database on human genotypes and phenotypes, and then subject it to machine learning so that it can help develop new ways to fight diseases associated with aging. Calico and human longevity don't view each other as threats. Instead, Craig Winter says, our approach can help Calico immensely, and if their approach is successful, it can help me live longer. We hope to be the reference center at the middle of everything. To many experts, dying is not inevitable, but rather, it is a disease. So what causes aging and mortality? Aging is mostly caused by damage to our cells, DNA, artery walls, tissues and nervous system. So how can medical science reverse aging? If aging is caused by damage, then reversal of aging, rejuvenation, can be achieved by repairing that damage. So again, we need to cure aging as if it were a disease. All of the aging damage to our cells have solutions. Therefore, if aging is a disease, then as we repair the causes, we can avoid aging indefinitely. George Church, a geneticist at Harvard Medical School says, if you can control both the environment and the genetics, you can get people that live youthful, healthy lives for exceptionally much longer than others. In industrialized nations, most of the diseases are due to age-related diseases, and I think those two can be handled. But regardless of how it is achieved, extending human lifespans by decades or even hundreds of years will present us with some difficult social realities. Sean Parker, founder of Napster and former Facebook president, said, The disparity of wealth in the United States will create a class of immortal overlords. Just like artificial intelligence, the progress for longevity with the current investment level, potential business, ever-increasing genome technology is inevitable. And there will be ethical questions whether the democracy of living a normal length of life is sacrificed for the ultra-wealthy at least in our lifetime. We can certainly expect a breakthrough treatment or even a pill extending our lifetime in the coming decade. And that may just be the beginning of curing the disease called aging.